In today's gaming landscape, we're experiencing what I have observed as the rise of play to burn games. As the reason why modern gaming sucks now, where there are games that are designed to burn your time, energy, money, relationships, communities, and even your life in general. It is the gamification of the idea of more, more, and more, where quality is perceived to shine in excess rather than in resourcefulness, where gaming takes a central role at the expense of other aspects of your life. These play-to-burn games cause burnout and emotional fading to gamers who just can't take how the gaming space is evolving, which leads to either complete emotional exhaustion from going through the formulaic motions, bugs, and glitches of modern games, or the total acceptance of AAA game developers and publishers will continue to prioritize monetization and profitability first and foremost, rather than the integrity of game design itself. As such, gaming has indeed evolved significantly in recent years, with advancement in technology, graphics, and gameplay mechanics. However, despite these advancements, many gamers find themselves dissatisfied with modern games, longing for the days when gaming experiences were more fulfilling and immersive. Remember, the days when the original Final Fantasy VII left you speechless after a certain beloved character dies. Now, in the remake, you're left with altering new worlds and cosmic multiverses and timelines to justify a newer and longer play-to-burn gaming experience, which inevitably leads to video game burnout, wherein your gaming journey ends when the money stops talking. It's no wonder that gamers are very vocal about the quality of games they play because they understand when they are being exploited. Games now cost $70 and due to inflation that may yet increase to $100 in a few years time. With some special editions in game packs being priced that high already. Ahem. Redfall, monetization over player satisfaction. One key aspect of a play-to-burn game is the prevailing issue of prioritizing monetization over player satisfaction. Activision Blizzard is no stranger to this strategy, as more and more of their games like Diablo series make way for the monetization train. Many game developers have embraced aggressive monetization models including microtransactions, loot box, and pay-to-win mechanics. These practices exploit players' desire for progression, often forcing them into a never-ending loop of spending money to keep up or achieve in-game success. Sad to say, very sad to say. This focus of maximizing profits erodes the sense of fairness and accomplishment, leaving gamers feeling frustrated and disillusioned. Applying the ideas from my previous video, the phenomenon of provocation or habituated profit-driven motivation and behavior leads to the overall decrease in the quality of games and an increase in extractive monetary machines that aim to exploit the player's perceived connection with the franchise as a weakness. When money becomes the central vision, the core vision, exploitation and extractive behaviors emerge naturally. Lack of originality and creative stagnation. Another characteristic of a play to burn game is the lack of originality and creative stagnation. The industry is flooded with formulaic sequels remakes, and uninspired copycats that prioritize profit margins over pushing creative boundaries. This reliance on established franchises 
and safe bets stifles innovation and leaves gamers longing for fresh and imaginative experiences. The absence of novel ideas diminishes the excitement and anticipation that once accompanied new game releases. A good example of this would be the Madden Sports game franchise, where the Play to Burn series is specifically designed to burn away your money year after year with no added benefit to you, the player, as each iteration is the same old repeated formula. No innovation whatsoever. Shallow gameplay and superficial experiences. While modern games often boast stunning visuals and realistic graphics, these advancements sometimes come at the expense of gameplay depth and immersive experiences. A quality found in play-to-burn games, developers frequently prioritize eye-catching aesthetics over compelling narratives, meaningful player choices, and innovative mechanics. Like movies that focus on spectacle and nostalgia, play-to-burn games zero in on graphics without gravitas. An idea that means that the graphics alone doesn't pull the weight of the game. As a result, many modern games offer shallow and linear gameplay, lacking the depth and complexity that engaged players in earlier generations. Gamers yearn for titles that challenge them intellectually and emotionally, providing a truly immersive experience. Rushed releases and lack of polishing. To meet demanding release schedules and cater to market demands, game developers often release titles before they are fully polished and free of technical issues. This rush to launch can result in games plagued with bugs, glitches, performance problems, etc., leading to frustrating and unenjoyable experiences. The emphasis on meeting deadlines and maximizing profits undermine the quality and integrity of modern games, leaving players feeling like beta testers rather than valued customers. This is a prerequisite to a play-to-burn gaming experience since it burns away the player's time and money, and they are left with nothing but uncooked food, like the recent Golem game. It is the worst game of 2023. Rightfully so, the studio that developed it closed down and canceled any future games in development. It was truly a buggy mess.